Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. In today's video, we're going to check out how to add icons inside HTML input fields. This is a great, easy technique with CSS that improves usability and has a little flair to otherwise boring form fields. Let's take a look. So let's start by checking out some live examples on the internet. Uh, this first one is EKM PowerShop and we're on the uh, user login page. And you can see in their little uh, username and password input fields, they've got some nice little icons. If we go over to apple.com, um, they've got their search field inside the navigation bar, which has got a nice little uh, magnifying glass icon inside. And even on our uh, contact page on our website, um, we've got little icons inside all of the fields on our contact form. So the great thing about these uh, icons, adding the icons inside the HTML input fields, is it's relatively straightforward with just a little bit of CSS. So I've set up a test page in Dreamweaver to demonstrate how um, how to implement these icons. And I've got the uh, code and design split view enabled so we can see the changes that we're making um, live here without having to flip between Dreamweaver and a browser like Safari. I've also got live view enabled that just helps us to uh, click inside these fields and just take a look at what's happening. Now obviously I've got some uh, styling on this page already and just for convenience I've um, separated these styles into a separate style sheet um, and just sort of sourced that through the head. These styles here just simply lay out the page and don't really have any bearing at all on adding the icons to the input fields. So the CSS that does relate to the input fields I've um, brought inline inside the head and I've got a very simple class called field that I've applied to each of the input fields that make up our form. So all the styling that I have at the moment is just a little bit of width, the border, background colour and the padding of the field. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is to source some icons that we can use for our form. Now a great website to use for finding icons is iconfinder.com. This is essentially an icon search engine, obviously one of many available on the internet. Now a good way to start is to search for an icon that you know you need to use. If we refer back to our example form, we're obviously going to have a username, an email address and a password field. So let's perhaps start by searching for email and you'll see that we get quite a few results coming through already. Now my form fields are quite small so I'd quite like to have little small icons. So I'm going to change the range on icon finder down to 12 and I'm just selecting an icon here that I like. Now the great thing with icons is that you want to really try and find icons that are part of a set. Therefore when somebody sees a form with all these icons in, they're not um, from different sets and they all look uh, quite uniform, part of the same group. So if we scroll down on Icon Finder, we should be able to find the whole Diagana set. We've still got our little 12 range selected, so essentially here we have seven pages of icons that we could perhaps sift through to find uh, suitable ones for all of the fields that we would like to add icons for. So um, it's also, if, if you're using icons from websites like Icon Finder, for example here we've got the uh, Diagonal icons and uh, these are available for commercial use under the Creative Commons license, so just make sure that you leave the uh, relevant um, attribute in your, in your coding. So I've downloaded uh, three of these already, so let's just close that and go back to our page. So I've sourced a username icon, an email address icon and a password icon. So first of all, uh, let's just start by obviously making the first class for our first input field, username. And obviously we're going to need individual classes for all three because we're going to source a different image um, icon for those input fields. So let's start with a class called username. All of the uh, CSS as well that we're typing out is going to be available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post, so don't worry too much about trying to uh, keep up. So the first thing that we're going to do then to set the icon is to set, we're going to set it as a, as a background image. So I'm selecting background from the prompter and using the URL I'm just going to select the icon that I've got downloaded ready to go. So we're doing username so let's go for the uh, username icon. Obviously the important thing that we want to do next is to apply no repeat so that the icon doesn't tile, it just appears the once. And after that we want to specify the background colour, so let's just set that as white. 
let's give that a save and click over here and see how that uh, how that looks Ooh. and also now that we've made the username class we want to apply username obviously to the username field okay so there you can see we've got our little icon has appeared in the background of the username field now to position this in place the uh, easiest way to do it obviously we've got some padding and things on here is to uh, position it on the x and y axis of the background property uh, so let's have a look so I've got padding of 6 so let's position literally about 8 8 by 8 pixels so that sort of move that into the into the center for us and obviously as we type into this field we really want the uh, text to be uh, adjusted over to the side so that it doesn't overlap the icon when we start typing inside it so I'm just going to go back to the padding of our field class and add the appropriate padding so um, obviously now that we're going to adjust some padding on the left we can't have a six pixel pad all the way around so six on the top six on the right six on the bottom and let's say about 24 on the left to account for the icon now if we click back inside you can see that we can type inside this field and it leaves the space for the icons that we're going to put down the left hand side so now that we've done the first one it will be very straightforward for us to simply copy the class rename for each appropriate one so let's go email and password and I'm just simply now going to change the file names so I've got an icon that I've saved as email.png and one that I've saved as password obviously now I have these uh, classes I'm just going to apply the email class to email and password to the password one okay now if we click over to our right hand side of the page you can see that all of our little icons are in which looks quite nice so simple um, three classes obviously we need a class for each input field like I said so that we can distinguish between the background icons and we've just adjusted the padding accordingly now depending on how you styled your your form input fields the styling that you'll need will vary Obviously, the main thing to bear in mind is that you're using the background property to insert an image behind um, into the background of the input field. We're using the X and the Y axis to position the icon into place. Then we have a little bit of padding on the left hand side of the input field to move the text inside away from that left hand side where the icon appears. So that's the basics. Obviously, have a bit of a fiddle around. You might have some different size icons, different size input fields, but those are the fundamentals to adding icons inside your HTML input fields and the great thing is is that there this this technique is fully compatible right the way back to uh, IE6 thank you for watching this week's video tutorial don't forget you can leave your questions comments or contributions on our supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel